Hello there my good friends of YouTube. This is a monitor circuit board out of it with the flyback just there. This is all the workings of it. That's off the CRT uh, the tube just off the back there. It has to be plugged in otherwise it won't uh, start up. That's the front display just there, the front panel. Uh, what changes the menu to all the menus, settings and everything else like that. Brightness, contrast and all that. That's off the back plate which uh, basically controls the output from the uh, the monitor which isn't really needed to start this thing up. This is the hot output from the flyback just there. These are the wires that go to the back of the go back the back of the CRT which is this part just here. So focus in. There we go. Okay, which isn't really needed. And this wire goes to earth. Okay? And that's the hot bit and cold bit. In other words, earth and output from the flyback. I'm going to start it up now. In fact, actually, let me uh, turn the light off so you can just see it. Turn that off as well. You'll hear the relays kicking in, and you'll see the output from it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. open a little bit of them about there. I can smell a bit of ozone from the start of it. <laughs> Let's have that back a bit more. That's the flyback making that noise. a little bit closer. It's pretty cool though, isn't it? Hmm. Right, let's have a look and see if anything's hot. See if anything's getting warm. That's cold. That's cold. I'll just make sure that this flyback's. I'm not going to go anywhere near any capacitors, so don't worry, guys. Just checking the heat sinks. See if anything's warm. So, it's all cold. Flyback ferrite's cold. Side of the flyback's cold. Yeah, I wonder if that would be actually happy running like that for a while. I might just leave it running and just see if, uh, eventually see if anything pops. But uh, it's a nice beefy flyback as you can see guys. I've just been given this fly uh, this um, monitor and uh, the place where I used to work and uh, he ran me up saying he's got a monitor for me which was nice of him so I uh, got it home and stripped it down and thought I'd make a video showing it working guys see it's all you really need you just need the front panel just to initiate it to uh, know that it's uh, got an on off button and whatnot and uh, you know you need the uh, the coil off the off the back of the tube just there and uh, that's all you really need and you know you can start these things up but be extremely careful guys because these things can kill you they really can unless you know what you, unless you know what you you're doing you know stay away from them because they are deadly let's uh, let's see this running again shall we quite a hot flame 
It's only about 12 kV coming out of it, really. See, it's got the capacitor in there. Oh, there we go. What was that? Ah, it's the capacitor down the back there. So I had my foot on the plug, you see, ready to pull it off. There's that cap just down there, which didn't like it. <laughs> so something was about to pop. It's all good fun. Thought you'd like that, guys. Thanks for watching. Look after yourselves, be safe, and we will speak again.